Good morning, I'm Molly Douglas and this is Live From Within. I'm going to be doing a gentle guided meditation for you this morning and just a way to create some intention for your day. A few things you might want around is a comfortable place to sit or to be where you will be uninterrupted for a while. It could be um, a room in your house that's not used very much or look the corner that makes you feel that makes you feel like you, that, that just has good energy around it and, and feels comfortable to you, kind of a sacred space. Um, or you might be at your office and you can do this at your desk as well. So a few other things you might uh, want available is um, if you like to use oracle cards, I'm using a divine feminine oracle card today to help it create a little more intention um, or bring some insight into what kind of divine feminine energy wants to um, work today, as well as maybe a journal um, to write in or draw in that can help you uh, gather some insights. So this is a kind of crisp fall morning here in the Midwest as we are just starting to enter fall. Um, so this change in season creates an, an awareness of what's going on um, with the Divine Feminine archetypes that we go through with each of the seasons. And this one that we're coming into for fall in the Midwest is associated with the Wild Woman. Um, she's a little more uh, internal, but it's that wise, creative, intuitive woman that uh, knows herself and knows what she wants and what she wants to do and where she's going and um, sometimes we tend to skip over this part um, especially right now we're kind of in an Indian summer so we'll go from summer into winter almost and skip over her and, and I don't want to do that it's really important that we connect with all these different phases and um, we'll talk about the different ones as they come up but this wild woman this intuitive woman, this creative woman, this woman that has her voice and has her power and it's a really lot of the um, connecting to the solar plexus and the heart center and then the, the third eye, the creative intuitive uh, connection that that spans. So, so keep that in mind as you move through uh, this meditation and also through the, um, the season that we're in. All right, go ahead now and just settle into your space, becoming aware of the space around you and just kind of gathering yourself back to your center from where you've been today and what you've been doing. Allow yourself to be right here, right now, and just focus on your breath. Breath moving in and breath moving out, however it chooses to be is okay. There's no right or wrong way to breathe. In and out the nose or in and out the mouth is your choice. As you continue to just let your mind go of all thoughts, bringing your awareness back to your breath whenever your mind has traveled, just noticing any sensations in the body and continuing to breathe. You might become aware of sensations around the nose or the throat as breath moves in and breath moves out. And then eventually letting the awareness drop down to the body, down to the heart center, away from the thoughts. you might even gently place one hand over the heart center just to create some awareness for this space. Just noticing breath, feeling the rise and fall underneath your hands. As breath moves in and breath moves out. Maybe even taking a moment to notice what it feels like to breathe from this space. Away from the noise, away from the distractions. 
adjust your breath. You might even expand that to your awareness around your heart center, your chest, your lungs, your rib cage. You can even place your hands on these places just to create more awareness for the breath and the body. If anything comes on becomes unpleasant, you can always just move back to breath moving in and breath moving out. Letting that awareness continue down to the core center, those group of muscles right around the navel that allow you to sit up comfortably tall. You're invited just to notice breath moving in and breath moving out under both hands. Feeling the abdomen and the heart center expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. Letting that awareness continue down to the lower abdomen. Our source of creativity and our sacral, the hips, the pelvis, the root center, and the legs, just feeling yourself making contact with the floor and the floor beneath you and beneath the earth. And if you'd like, you can create some roots to extend down from the base of your spine and out each foot, imagining yourself as this beautiful tree or flower, and just letting those roots move all the way down into the earth, layer by layer by layer until you get to the heart of Mother Nature, the heart of Mother Earth. You're invited to see this heart, envisioning her center as a beautiful flower or tree, and at the center is a crystal, luminous, glowing, majestic. You're invited to let your roots gently wrap around her heart, allowing yourself to connect and bring up that energy up through your roots, up through your core center, out to the heart center and out each arm and out each palm. Breathing up and bringing up any light source energy, nutrients from the animals, plants, trees, oceans, just letting that fill you up and recharge you and re-nourish you with each breath bringing that all the way up and into the top of the head and down. You can continue to bring up that light and energy around you, knowing that not only do these roots connect you, but they can also send down anything that you don't need to be holding on to or no longer serves you in this purpose. You might imagine this as a color or a shape or an image no, it could be pains or discomforts. Noticing where you feel this in the body. And just breathing into that and letting it go. As if Mother Nature's heart is this big luminous magnet that can pull down anything and everything you're ready to let go of. Let it move all the way down. And then breathe in that light source energy all the way up up over the top of the head to the sun, the moon, and the stars, connecting up above and bringing that light from above down through the head, the heart, center, and expanding out into each arm and each palm. Just feeling yourself connected below and above bringing that all the way up and down through within the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart center, all the way down to the sacral and the root and back out, creating this beautiful luminous bubble around you, supporting you, below you, above you, and each side. And it's from this place that we quiet within and we can listen from the heart lens, receive any messages, any intuitive guidance, any insights, create an intention, whatever feels right to you. Maybe focus in on that wild woman, that part of you 
that intuitive creative self and what messages are there from that higher self and from divine goddess so from this space we can create that connection breathing and allowing that to receive Once you feel ready, you can gently begin to open your eyes and come back to the space, feeling the floor beneath you. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to choose a Divine Feminine card for you to help move out, um, move through your day, and uh, something to keep in mind that just to help inspire you from where you're at today and what you're doing um, with whatever messages you received. Um, this is an oracle deck. It's different than a tarot deck. Oracle decks are sort of like affirmations. There's all kinds of beautiful decks out there. Um, like I said, the Divine Feminine by Megan um, Watterson is the one I'm choosing today have kind of a thing for oracle decks. I have many different ones, so I'll be sharing them with you if you're interested. Um, and so what I usually do is I just like to shuffle the deck, tap into that intuition that you connected to, if that was available to you during the um, meditation, and then just open up and see what you're drawn to. And the one that I chose for you today, for both of us, is the Cosmic Egg, the Divine Feminine. It says, I hold the universe with me. I am the force of an ever-expanding love. That's beautiful. So take that with you today and see what sort of symbols come into your world um, that help remind you of this. If there's something that's associated with you, maybe it's a color, maybe it's a shape. Maybe just notice where you feel that in your body right now um, and just connect with that for a moment. You can take some time before you do with whatever you have going on next to do some journaling or do some drawing based on what you experienced today. So thank you so much. Um, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. This is new for me, so I'm really excited to begin this journey with you. But if you like this, please subscribe. And you can continue to receive these on a um, hopefully weekly basis. That's my goal. So thank you so much. There'll be more stuff coming as well. Um, and also things to include with your family. So yeah, it's great to fill up your cup and take care of you. But then using this ripple to... Um, move out into the family too so you know kids love guided visualization and yoga and I'll be uh, doing some of that with my daughter on here later so